Engineering students from Norfolk and across the world are in Virginia Beach this weekend. They are competing in the sixth annual Robo Boat competition, and the event just doesn't attract some of the brightest young minds in the world. It also has the attention of the U.S. Navy. Sending your sides, Art Khan got a look at the practice rounds and a glimpse into the future. Unmanned craft are rapidly becoming a reality in the United States Navy. Believe it or not, much of this technology is born in ponds and pools near colleges and universities. Are we ready? Auto. Engineering students have taken over the pond behind the Founders Inn in Virginia Beach, which has been transformed into a laboratory of sorts for their robotic boats. Taking over. The watercraft that navigate this course behind me may resemble radio controlled boats, but they're not. They're autonomous, and they represent something far more significant than a toy. Ready? Don't be fooled by the remote control. This is only a practice run. When these things are being uh, deployed for the competition itself, there's no human intervention at all. Daryl Davidson, the executive director of the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International, says maneuverability is not the only criteria here. These robotic vessels must respond to simulated threats that confront the Navy and the Coast Guard in the real world. They want to be able to figure out how to do these things by taking humans out of these boats and having robotic boats that are doing operations 24-7. What is the best way to get to where we want to go? This team so, from Michigan um, State is presenting their concept to the judges who include representatives from the Office of Naval Research scouting for bright young minds to advance the field of robotics. And perhaps come up with those new sensors, those new way of looking at things and those new ways of introducing robotics and autonomous behavior. And so there really is great value in what's going on here at RoboBook today. For both the Navy and the students. The project really forces us to learn on the fly, especially with the programming, uh, the designing some of the parts. And molding the future. In Virginia Beach, Art Con, 10 on your side.